Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of multiplying decimals. This is standard 5.3e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 27 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Trevor is buying six shirts for $12.80 each. What is the total cost of these six shirts? Seems pretty straightforward. So let's open up our graph draw feature so we can write all over this. Increase the transparency. So six shirts. All right, so if I'm going to draw some shirts like that, right? If I just do six of these, and I'm going to try to make them the same, but not that great of an artist, right? So it doesn't matter. I could have just drawn some, you know, circles and counted those as shirts. Here's the thing. I've got six sets of these, and each one of these circles is, or shirts is going to cost twelve, eighty. And that sleeve's getting messed up. And so, well, I could use repeated addition if I really wanted to, right? Because I mean, those are my six shirts, and I can just say twelve. 80 for each of these. Instead of writing it like that, I can just kind of like draw some some lines there. So if I wanted to, I really could do 1280 six times. It would work. It's just a lot of addition. And at this point, we're also in fifth grade wanting you to be able to use another operation here. So let me visualize it for you. So I'll leave that here. We'll come back to that. If we wanted to visualize this, let's use a strip diagram. Total is what I'm missing, right? Our total always goes on top. How many shirts do I have? Well, I've got six shirts, so I'm going to cut it in half and cut each half into thirds. There's my six, so 12.8. I'm just going to drop that zero off. I'm just going to say 12.8. 12.8. So yes, you could do repeated addition, but hopefully at this point you're thinking, oh, equal groups. How many equal groups do you have? Well, I've got six. So six shirts for 12.80 each. Each lets us think equal groups. And hopefully by now you know that when we're thinking equal groups, there are two things that we should be thinking of. We should be thinking of either multiplication or division. That's what we do when we're dealing with equal groups. So what happens if we do 1280 times 6? Six, six sets of 1280. All right, well, let's, let's do both here, right? We'll do them side by side so you can see how they work. All right, so if I multiply, I'm going to go right to left, right? So 6 times 0 is 0. If I add up this hundredths place right here, what am I going to get? A whole bunch of zeros. It's going to turn into zero. Okay. Now, when you're multiplying, next you go six times eight. So six times eight is 48, but you don't write down both digits, right? You write down just the four or just the eight, and you carry the four. Well, here what we have, eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. You might as well have multiplied because that's a lot of eights to add. But you don't write down both. You carry the 4, okay? So 6 times 2, look, that's exactly what we're about to do here, 6 times 2, right? 6 times 2 is 12. Add the 4 is going to be 16, but you don't write both. You just carry that one right there. So I've got 4, and then I've got 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, just what I had over there. Or it could have been 6 times 2 and then add the 4. And then you get 6 times 1, which is 6. Add the 1 is 7. Then I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I had 6 sets of 1, and then I had an extra 1. Now, the only difference is I've already got my decimal here. Now, since I'm multiplying, I have to count how many digits are behind the decimal in my factors. 2. I need 2 digits behind the decimal in my product. 7680 is my answer, C.